Russian Minister of Foreign Affairs Sergei Lavrov today denied reports that Vladimir Putin has fallen ill. Unconfirmed reports persist that Putin, who is turning 70 this year, suffers from deteriorating health issues and may have been diagnosed with cancer and Parkinson's. In an interview with French TV, Lavrov said no one sane could see any signs of illness in Putin, who reportedly has his food tested before eating it and bans his staff from standing too close to him. The update comes as the fighting intensifies in Ukraine's east, with Moscow and Kiev's forces spilling blood for control of Severodonetsk, a city in the Luhansk Oblast. You can watch him on screens, read and listen to his speeches, Lavrov said in comments released by the Russian Foreign Ministry. I leave it to the conscience of those who spread such rumors. His statements come amid reports that the Kremlin was reusing old footage of Putin for several meetings. An FSB officer was quoted in media outlets on May 29 warning that Putin has just three years left to live as speculation abounded over his health. Confronted with evidence of war crimes committed in Ukraine's previously occupied regions, Lavrov told TF1 that Russian soldiers were under strict orders categorically to avoid attacks and strikes on civilian infrastructure. He added that the liberation of the Donbas region was an unconditional priority for Russia, repeated the Kremlin line that Russia is fighting neo-Nazi forces in Ukraine. British intelligence sources were quoted in various media reports telling outlets that Putin's health was deteriorating. Reports about Putin's health have conflicted, with accounts differing on whether Putin has thyroid, abdominal or blood cancer. Kyiv military spy chief Kirillo Budinov said previously he fears the Russian leader still has a few more years left in him. His comments suggested the Ukrainians believe Putin is suffering from cancer, but are unclear on how severe the condition could be and to what extent it could impede Putin's ability to direct Russian military strategy and exert influence over the country. The Major General also claimed Putin was the target of an assassination attempt shortly after launching his invasion. He said the abortive bid was by representatives of the Caucasus, but did no release further details. The report mirrored other claims that top-ranking Russian officials are said to be plotting a government without Vladimir Putin, with Kremlin sources claiming insiders are already looking for ways to replace the Russian president. The news outlet Medusa quoted sources claiming that high-ranking officials in Russia's security services FSB and GRU, referred to as hawks, believe Putin has botched the invasion and want to seize control of the operation. One method of moving things on without need for a violent coup would be to place him in a long-term hospital for the incurably unwell, suggested former MI6 chief Richard Dearlove. Rumors in Moscow persist that Putin has undergone recent surgery to treat his illness. The General SVR Telegram channel the owner of which has not been confirmed, said that trusted aide Nikolai Patrashev, 
a former FSB chief like Putin himself, took over from the Russian leader while the operation was underway and took charge temporarily in the Kremlin.